Well, this week you're going to see a very, very different bowl making video. Unfortunately, you're not going to see any bowl making at all. What I have here is the bowl that I made. It's the second bowl in a series. Uh, there were two bowls in this one project that she did. The other one was straight-sided, uh, square bottom more or less. This is a more a rounded bowl. And she used the material making these blanks, these segments, that you had obverse pieces. Used one in the first video on 7 8 material, this one in this video on the 3 quarter inch material. This was 3 quarter inch mahogany and something's, it's not maple but it looks a lot like maple. I'm not sure what it is. It's 3 8 the only 3 8 piece of wood I had. Came in a seconds package and I'm not sure exactly what it was. Ash or maple or something like that. Anyway, I used it for the contrast to the mahogany. It worked very well. Now, the reason you're not seeing any bowl making, I have a new camera, that a new phone that I'm using as a camera. And uh, I moved the files over to the SD card. My old phone put, automatically put them on the micro SD card. This phone, you have to move them. So I moved them to the micro SD card. Went through my procedure of pulling it out and putting it in my reader on my computer, and the SD card was dead. I have not been able to get anything to recognize it. It's, it doesn't, not only doesn't recognize it, it doesn't acknowledge that it even exists. So I've done everything I do to look for backups. Uh, when it moved, it moved them off the phone. It didn't do that the last time I did it. It left them on the phone. So I lost all those files. 38 video files showing the banking of this bowl. Now I'm going to uh, revisit this bowl because I have a different idea on how to do it and make it look a little different, be something I've never seen before in bowl making. Now, I'm probably not the first person that's thought of it, but I'm going to try it and I'm not going to say what it is till I do it. Depending on the material I have, I may do it in the next video, the next bowl video, but I'm not sure right now. What I'm going, what I've got up for next week, because I've just spent two days trying to get my files back, and I hadn't been planning ahead from that point. But the point being, this is the bowl for this week. Uh, I really liked the way it turned out. It was, it gave me lots of problems. It didn't match up well at all on the outside. Uh, the drill bit flexed in the hole on the bottom. And it gave me a lot of sanding on the bottom ring. And I wasn't sure I was going to make it through, but I did. That's got two coats of finish on it. I got the second one on this morning. I'll let it set another hour or two and sand it. And then I'll put another uh, quick coat on it. They're very thin coats. So I really like the way that mahogany looks. It really pops out when you put a finish on it. But stay tuned. I'll probably put another little short video of some kind up this week. Kind of make up for this one being short and uh, no bow making in it. Uh, but anyway, I hope you like the way the bowl looks. Sorry I didn't get to show you how it was made. It's multiple angle bowl. Each one of those were cut twice on the outside. Uh, first angle matched the inside angle, and then I cut it again to match the angle on the next bowl, next ring down. And it sounds kind of complex. I'll demonstrate that hopefully the next time I do this. And uh, But anyway, that's the best I can do for the bowl making for today. And I'll try to speed up, I'll get it through my material, see if I can get that next iteration of this bowl out. So thanks for watching this little short video. And if you like it, hit the like button. Uh, I like the bowl, I just wish I could show you how I did it. But thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next video, which I hope will be a complete video.